morning, ESM. My name is Toby. And my name is Kai, and I have a piece of gum in my hand. She sure does. Uh, welcome back. We did have a show for today, uh, but unfortunately, we no, wrote we the date as um, 2019 and not 2020, so we had to scrap the whole thing. Uh, we are completely uh, improvising right now, and it's going to uh, be a good show. It's not going to be a good show. It's going to be a great show. Don't, don't okay. say things like that. Uh, but first, we're going to get you through news and announcements. Last week, President Trump ordered a precision strike to, quote, terminate a top Iranian commander, Qasem Soleimani, who was plotting to, quote, eminent and sinister attacks towards Americans and said that the attack was one of deterrence rather than an attack of aggression. On Friday, Trump said, quote, we took action last night to stop a war. We did not take action to start a war. Iran's ambassador to the UN, Majid Ravan Ravanchi, called the act terrorism and that it was, quote, tantamount to opening a war and that the response for a military action is a military action. By whom, when, where, that is for the future to witness. Iran will also be pulling out of the nuclear deal that, they had, that had limited the country since 2015. Yesterday, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison defended his leadership and the government's record on climate change as milder temperatures brought hope of a break from the wildfire that has devastated three states, killing 24 people and demolishing almost 2,000 homes. Morrison announced on Sunday, or Saturday, that the first time in Australian's history, 3,000 Army, Navy, and Air Force reservists will be thrown into, in to battle wildfires. He also committed $14 million to leasing firefighting aircraft from overseas. His decisions have attracted some backlash, though, as people began complaining that he had taken too long to act. By the time he announced military help, the fires had burned through millions of acres in New South Wales, Victoria, and South Australia, an area twice the size of Maryland. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll go first. Actually, rock, paper, scissors? No, I still have gum in my hand. Okay, uh, I'll go first then. ESM DECA will be holding a staff versus student basketball game in the large gymnasium at, at the high school on January 12th. We are looking for faculty and students to participate. In order to participate, each player will need to raise $30 and you'll receive a free t-shirt on a first-come, first-served basis. The first 20 students and the first 20 staff members will be signed up. All proceeds will go to the ESM Youth Sports Foundation. See Rachel Underwood, Cameron Ur, I believe, or come down to B4 if you would like to participate and or have any questions. There will be an OCC Advantage Class of 2023 meeting in the auditorium on Wednesday, uh, January 28th from 10.15 to 10.35. What? Yeah, did I not say that? <laughs> did I? Oh my god, I can't read. Uh, only students who have signed a commitment letter are to attend this meeting. If you are not sure about your status, please see Ms. Killens or Ms. Dussing in the main office. Now, before we move on to weather, we wanted to do a quick PSA. Now, you already know that today is January 6th, and it's a day... Hmm, three. Three. Uh, three. But you may want to rethink how you write your dates. Now, Malachi, tell them why you should not write your date the way you, anyone would think you should write it. Um, Basically, I'll do it. No, so <laughs> no, I got it. People could just like if you, since you have the twenty now, you could they could just write and like any like correct it with any twenty year. You can exactly. do it. I can't. So you don't want to write say it's the six. You don't want to write o one o six slash twenty. You want to write write twenty twenty because it'd be super easy if I was signing a legal document. Malachi could be sinister and he could just write seventeen person. right uh, after the twenty or six right after the twenty. Granted, I would still legally be a minor at that time, and that document would be void. But you still don't want to do that because you don't want any void documents on your hands. This show has no direction, and we're sorry. <laughs> on to weather. Today will be quite chilly with a high of 36 degrees and off and on snow showers. Tomorrow will warm up to 38 degrees, while on Wednesday it will cool down to 29 degrees with wind and snow. On Thursday there will be generally, genu generally cold uh, temperatures with a high of 32. Friday and Saturday will heat up into the upper 40s, and Sunday will be colder with snow again. I'm Amber with your weather. Now, in 
the spirit of the new year and it being now 2020. Uh, and this show having no direction. And this show having no direction. We decided that we'd um, talk about our uh, New Year's resolution somehow. So, Toby, what is your New Year's resolution? I'll go first. Uh, my New Year's resolution is to get um, good enough at video games, maybe just one, so I can actually play it with my friends and not being at such a low level that literally the game will stop us from playing with each other. Because right now it's... Fortnite. Um, What's your New Year's resolution? Stand up straight. Stand up straight? Just posture in general? No, just standing up straight. So sitting down, your posture would still be. Yeah, no, I'm gonna sit like this still. But standing up, you're gonna. I probably stand just up. like peek my mic doing that. That's all right. No, that's still that's an admirable goal. Maybe in 2021, you could go for standing up straight. Maybe. And then you'll have two years worth of good posture to bank off of, that's and you true. can just keep going until you're like the perfect embodiment of human being. Alex Post. Which is Alex Post. <laughs> on to sports. <laughs> on to, no, we're gonna go on to sports. ESM wrestling team had two tournaments over break. The Haynes tournament was on December 27th and 28th. Four of our wrestlers placed in their weight classes. Nicholas Modaleski placed sixth. Andrew Crone placed fifth. Ali Abdullah placed fourth. Aslan Abdullah placed second. The Fallen Heroes tournament on January 4th, four of our wrestlers again placed in their classes. Nicholas Modaleski at sixth place. Dylan Johnston in fifth place. Andrew Crone in second. And Alex Leo at first place. The girls' volleyball team defeated Utica Proctor in the Go for Gold game in three sets. Leading the way was Liv Fortuna, who had eight kills, one ace, and three blocks. Skylar Mahoney had four kills, one block, one assist. Helena Scolaro had four aces and two kills, while Elena Day had two aces, four kills, nine assists, and one block. On Friday, the girls' varsity basketball team defeated Phoenix 44-42. Lena Polcaro led the team with 20 points. In upcoming games, the girls' volleyball team will play at Whitesboro tonight at 7. I'm David with your sports. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> now real quick I'd like to say thank you and also apologize to uh, David and Amber and everyone in the back uh, for they all did a very good job. The good one uh, will be on Thursday. It's me and Owen. It's Kids Bop. It'll be a blast. It's Kids Bop quiz. It's going to be awesome. So thanks for sticking through. Um, happy birthday, Mom. Yeah, Mom, if you watch this through the end of the show, happy birthday. We love you very much. You probably won't watch through the end of the show. It, it wasn't be, very good. It would be understandable. We'll just tell you happy birthday happy when birthday. you get home today. So uh, that's all the time we have. Uh, if we're going to act like we're doing this formally at all. So for me, Malachi, my, uh, my little hair there, and everyone else here on The Morning Show, have a good day, That's or at least try to after this. And I this. dropped my gum. It's on the table now. Hey, Sean, thanks for your deposit. Do you want to spin the wheel? Yeah, sweet. Go ahead. Moe's. You want a Moe's gift card? Let's go. If you want the chance to spin the wheel, come down to the branch Monday, Wednesday, or Friday during lunch and earn your chance to spin the wheel.